In this tutorial, we are going to be looking at how we can create variables that um, combine multiple variables that are currently existing in our data set. Let's take, for example, this variable, these variables here. Um, S Hispanic, S White, S Black, API, Native, Other. Now, all of these are um, referring to different ethnic groups. And just based on the how the question the question was asked in the survey, um, when the data file um, was exported, the, the variables, instead of being one variable, we had the ethnic groups being presented as multiple variables. However, we are able to use syntax to actually combine them into um, actual, into, act, into one single variable. How do we do that? Well, instead of utilizing the menus, this time we will need to utilize a syntax file and we will use is a conditional or if command to specify how the variable is created. So let us get started. First and foremost, let us go to our syntax file. And if you don't have any space currently, empty space, you are going to use the, the enter button. Just put it to the top of your syntax file and make some space here. Now, I am going to be utilizing, as I said, S Hispanic, S White, S Black, S Asian or Pacific Islander, S Native American, and S Other in order to create my variable. So what I'm going to do, firstly, let's, as a matter of fact, let us go back to the data file. Something that we should have looked at before was... Um, how these variables were measured. So let us look at the variables. If you notice that in each of these instances, um, if the person is a member of the group, in the particular ethnic group, the um, they would have selected one. If they were not a member of the other ethnic group, they would have selected zero. So we consider these to be binary measures where the responses are ones or zeros, and we are able to convert these binary measures, combine them into one single index. So what we're going to tell the software is, um, for example, if the person had indicated yes to Asian or Pacific, then in my new ethnic variable, make that person Asian or Pacific. So let us go back now to the syntax and begin our process. So let us begin with our first if command. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin with the um, Hispanic. So if and as I said, we're using an if command, so if, and now we will open brackets and specify the condition. So what we're going to say is if F underscore Hispanic is equal to one, close bracket, space, ethnic, which is going to be our new variable, is equal to one. So what we have just told the software is that if it's, if when the person, if, if the response on the F Hispanic variable is one, then put them into ethnic group one. We will continue to specify the other ethnic groups um, accordingly, the ethnic variables. So if, and I'm going to work on white now, if open brackets, F underscore white is equal to one, close brackets, ethnic is equal to two full stops so I'm saying make so where we are just labeling them properly so when we look at the ethnic variable it will we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six um, group. And so we're telling the software which ethnic group to make, group one, two, and so on. So let's just work on black now. So if f underscore black is equal to one, close brackets, ethnic is equal to three. You have to also make sure that you are properly spelling all the words. So you have to properly specify the variable and you have to properly specify find the new variable that you're creating otherwise the command will um, not run so now let us do Asian or Pacific Islanders is equal to one so remember all of the variables are measured as ones and zeros so it's always if they are equal to one if let's do Native American F underscore native is equal to one ethnic is equal to five and finally other if f underscore other is equal to one ethnic Equal to five. It's equal to six. Then we type execute. That way the software knows that we are finished. So we're going to select all of that and we're going to run selection. As you can see here, these are the commands that have been executed. And it seems as if there were no errors. So what we'll do next is to go to the sim go to the data file to see our new variable so we see here that a new variable called ethnic is created but you notice there are no value labels there are no missing values there are no variable labels so we have to enter those so i'm just going to go ahead and enter ethnicity of respondents as my label that my label that is and then I'm going to have to enter my value labels that says, uh, remember we had made Hispanic group one, so we'll say one is Hispanic, add two, you should be familiar with this process, white, add three is black, add Four is Asian or Pacific Islander. Add five is Native American. Add and six is other other. Add. So now that we have all our variable labels, we are going to click OK and our variable labels are there. Now, a, since other could be any ethnic group, we can go ahead and declare other as missing. So I'm going to go ahead and say discrete missing values. And since other was graded as was um, coded as six, we're going to put six here. Of course, you could have just not included other in your um, when you created the new index but just for purity's sake I did include it so go ahead and just select other and then OK so we're going to check to make sure that everything is okay with the variable so we're just going to run a frequency distribution on this variable to ensure that everything is okay so you'd go analyze descriptive statistics frequencies bring in your ethnicity variable as it has been my practice I prefer to run everything from my syntax so I have pasted the command to the syntax and now I will just grab it from the syntax and run that selection and as we can see here We 
have our ethnic groups Hispanic, white, black, Asian or Pacific Islander, Native American and other. Note here that our other and our and as well as the black spaces that nobody had responded to those questions were um are now declared as missing because we had done that.